the other one dealing with the money. <laughs> Officers present, Your Excellency, when you instructed me to accompany you to this occasion, the Police Leadership Academy, the word leadership is what ignited my imagination. Leadership. Your Excellency, despite what professors write, despite what all people say about the problems bedeviling our continent, the problem of Africa is one of leadership. The problem of this country is one of leadership. The challenges of all our institutions is leadership. So Your Excellency, this academy to impart leadership skills to our commanders in the National Police Service could not have come at a better time. I would like to request the new IG to consider that part of his legacy for the time he'll serve as the Inspector General of Police is to impart leadership skills among our commanders in the National Police Service. A good National Police Service is as good as the leadership of the IG. A good police station is as good as the officer commanding police station. If that police station has a lot of corruption, chances are nine to one, the officer commanding that police station is leading in corruption. So the issue of leadership is what must be addressed to inculcate professionalism in our service. Your Excellency, Kenyans sometimes on TV in the evening make fun of the National Police Service when some county commanders and OSPDs are trying to describe a crime scene, but in a way that is a little bit embarrassing. But if we impart the right leadership skills and we make the police service professional, that will be the beginning of the success of our police service. Finally, Your Excellency, during our campaign period, I took the leading role to campaign for these people and to tell Kenyans that they are good people, that we just need to give them the right tools, but we also asked them to give back to society by being friendly, by dealing with the Kenyans in a humane manner. And that is a challenge that we want to give to all of you, that we look for a way of engaging with the public, even as we enforce the law, we do it in a human manner that dignifies the Kenyan people. Kenya, Your Excellency, you have told us is a country of the rule of law. We have a debate that is going on on the use of firearms by our police officers. The Inspector General of Police CS Interior and myself have come out clearly and we want to repeat because it's important that we do so. We are not asking any police officer to misuse his firearm, but we are saying for the police officers to protect the lives and property of Kenyans, they themselves must be safe and they must first protect themselves against criminals with guns before they can protect us. We are not in any way saying that the oversight authorities should not do their job. They must go ahead and do it. But our officers must be safe. But again, our officers, for us to be able to protect you, you have five documents that you must rely on so that you work professionally. The Constitution of Kenya, the National Police Service Order, the Penal Code, CAP 63, the Criminal Procedure Code, CAP 75, the Evidence Act, CAP 80. With those five documents, you will never get in problems with the oversight authority or with the law. You will be safe. Na pia nyinyi, tunaomba nyinyi. Muongeze masomo. You cannot go wrong kuongeza masomo. Hii masomo ni mzuri. Hata kama hakuna mshahara kuwebatana na yaka na ya ungoje, so that if mshahara ikiongeza wa ikuta huko na masomo, unafaidika. Your Excellency, hata masomo yangu ni kidogo. Ukatanipatia rusa kasi kipungua ni ongeza kidogo. You know? <laughs> Kwa hile kasi nimepewa na rais, basomo yangu hiko chini kidogo. Unajua mimi niko na degree moja, my boss has three. So unaona hiyo kibaruwa nikali? 
Then one of my senior colleagues, ako professor. So pala kwa mikutano sa higine na chaganyikiwa. So ata nyinyi, tunaomba 